Greetings everybody! Today I have a squash! This is known as the Ayote. This is an interesting one because this particular kind is one that if you cut it open, sometimes it's orange inside, other times it's like a dark green. And I'm not sure which one this is going to be. So I'm kind of hoping that it's gonna be dark green inside because I think that would be pretty cool. I've never seen a squash that looks like that, but uh, I'm not sure. So you're gonna find out with me. I think either way, it's supposed to taste about the same, but the look can vary. This, by the way, was sent to me by Joey. So Joey, thank you very much for sending me this kinder surprise of a squash. Uh, before I cut this open, before we find out what color it's going to be, I know it's suspenseful, guys, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, okay? This is important. When you eat one of these, you wanna make sure that nearly all the green on it is gone. So when this was sent to me, there's a lot of green on it. But now that it's been sitting on the counter for like, it's actually been like a couple weeks, nearly all the green is gone. There's a few little patches here and there, but I think that's okay. The majority of it has, has changed to uh, an orange color. That's what you want. Otherwise, the flavor of it is supposed to be bland. The other difficult thing about this is that it's hard to find information about it because Ayote refers to many different types of squashes. It's just like basically a name for squash. In order to find people actually using this, it took a lot of like hunting through pictures. One thing I noticed is that a lot of those pictures were from El Salvador. So I guess Ayote is very popular in El Salvador, where it's used to make a candy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that today because I have done that with other melons in the past, but I am going to do something with it. Uh, the other thing that people do with this that's kind of interesting is that they take the seeds out of it and they roast them and then they grind them up with salt and they sprinkle that on other fruit as like a, a condiment. So maybe I'll try that, but first let's cut it open. Okay, so everybody, Now's the time I'm going to cut it open. Before I cut this open, I want you to pause the video. I want you to go down to the comments and I want you to type in what you think it's going to be. Is it going to be green? Is it going to be orange? Or is it going to be something else? Do it now and then come back. Okay, let's cut it open. Come on, green. Oh yeah, all right, I got lucky. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, that is a dark green color. I mean, honestly, it looks kind of gross, won't lie, but it's also kind of cool. And it's not rotted. <laughs> it looks like it's rotted. It is not rotted. That is just a dark green color. That you kind of, you wouldn't expect that looking on the, uh, on the outside. You would think that this is gonna be, you know, orange inside like any other squash, but nope, forest green. Okay, so I'm going to prepare this just like any other squash. Get some of the seeds out. And this smells like a pumpkin. It's like I'm carving a jack-o'-lantern. So I've been told that you can eat this raw and you can eat it cooked. So let's try it raw. Everything is telling me don't eat this. <laughs> It looks like something that's gone bad, even though it hasn't. It's um, raw, and typically you would cook like a squash, and also it kind of smells like a pumpkin. So I'm a little hesitant. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, yeah, I think I would prefer it cooked. But the flavor on that's all right. It reminds me a lot of raw sweet potato. You know, sometimes people put raw sweet potato on like a salad or something. It's like that. It's got a little chestnut sort of thing going on, but also has a touch of a pumpkin taste. Mix it in like in a quinoa bowl or something like that. And um, yeah, it'd be pretty good. But let's cook it. You may think that since I have a channel where I review fruit, that I must have a perfect diet. 
This is not entirely true, which is why today I'm very happy to have Ritual as my sponsor. Real talk, I have turned down supplement sponsors in the past. There's a lot of really shady ones out there, but with Ritual, they're different. Their whole big selling point is that they are backed by science. They tell you everything that's inside this bottle, where it's from, what it does, why it does it. It is totally transparent. Every morning I take three things. I take a multivitamin, an omega-3, and a probiotic. This is something that I've been doing for years, but with Ritual, they do it better. First of all, the multivitamins already have omega-3s in them, so that's one less pill that I need to take. Also, they are from vegan sources. The omega-3 supplement that I was taking before was from fish oil, and it gave me these really awesome fish burps. Yeah, those, those days are gone. And they have probiotics too. But my favorite thing about Ritual is that these multivitamins look kind of like the pills from Valley of the Dolls. You can't go wrong with that. Fill in the gaps of your diet with Ritual's essential vitamins. It's a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. Ritual is offering 20% off your first month by going to my link, ritual.com slash weird20 and using my promo code weird20. All right, I've got my ayote cut up into little chunks and I have a pot of boiling water. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put these ah, together and I'm going to scald myself in the process. Okay, it's been not very long, like five minutes maybe. And that pumpkin or ayote rather, it's cooked. Still so strange. Okay. That tastes completely different than how it was when it was raw. It doesn't taste like sweet potato so much anymore, a little bit. And it doesn't taste like chestnut anymore. It actually has a flavor of something that is green, which it didn't have before. Now it does kind of taste like spinach, oddly. Um, spinach, sweet potato, maybe a little bit of like a fruit flavor, like apple, maybe? Weird. It reminds me a little bit of like, those like green juices you can find, like Bolt House Farms has one. There's a number of different products that you can get at a supermarket where it's like different sorts of fruit juices, but also green things like spinach and broccoli blended in there. So it is still like a sweet sort of taste, but with this green back end to it. So you might want to think about like how you're going to use it if you're going to be using it this way, because it's leaning a little bit more towards a vegetable sort of taste rather than a fruit root kind of flavor like it is raw. So what am I going to do with it?
That is actually really good. The flavor of that is very similar to pumpkin pie. I mean, this is a ayote pie, not a pumpkin pie, but if you were to take somebody, blindfold them, tie them up, and then give them a bite of this pie, they would think that they were eating just regular pumpkin pie. If I'm really digging in there, I can tell there's like a little bit of a vegetal flavor, similar to how I, I said when it was cooked, but it's even less because I'm also getting like the spices and the condensed milk and all of that that's, that's in there. So very, very similar to regular orange pumpkin pie, but this one is green and that is, uh, is kind of great. This has taught me that that recipe that I followed, which is like really, really easy, it takes like five minutes to like whip something together. You could swap out that pumpkin for an ayote or like any other kind of pulp. It might be fun to try making a pie using a different type of squash or a different type of root or something like that. In this case, this one I say is a success. And this would be a really fun thing to do at like Halloween, have a orange, pumpkin pie and a green aote pie. Sure, they taste pretty much the same, but it's cool looking and it does taste good. Okay, so I cut up some mango and I'm gonna take a piece of this mango and put a little bit of my Iote seed powder on it, making sure to get plenty onto the floor as I do so. And when people do this, they'll do it either with a ripe mango or with an unripe mango. Uh, this one is kind of like between the two. It's, it's not 100% ripe, but it's not like super green either. Right on, um, that's that's good. You know, the salt in there is definitely nice and the squash seeds give it this little nutty taste. You know, it tastes like roasted sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. It's got that, that sort of flavor, but you know, with the mango, that, that combination does work. In the past, I have had uh, a few different types of condiments on fruit, you know, especially unripe fruit. It's usually like salt, chili powder, hot sauce. Uh, I also, you might, See this guy, uh, Tahin. I'm gonna guess that's how you pronounce it, probably wrong. And this is like chili powder, um, dehydrated lime, and salt. This is the sort of thing you think about when you put a condiment on fruit, not uh, ground up seeds. But you know what? It's very different, but it does work. Those flavors do go well together. So what happens? when you cover this mango with the squash seeds and the tahine. Now that's a winner. That is really good. Maybe a little too salty because both of those condiments have salt in it, but there's so much going on. That's like a meal. You got the fruit flavor, the sweetness of the mango, tartness of the mango, the mango flavor, the chili, the lime, the salt, and the seeds. Never really would have thought of the seeds, but the seeds do add to that. That's, um, yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna keep using that stuff. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Lofty Rex, and JMac. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon, I'm sure you've heard about it, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the adventures that I go on on this channel and how I buy all the fruit that I buy. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, check out the link in the description below. Another way to help out is by going to my website. My website has all my videos organized into categories, which is pretty cool, and I also have t-shirts for sale over there. So check it out and I will see you all next time.